South Africa's ailing first black president, Nelson Mandela, is putting up a courageous fight from his deathbed. His daughter Makazi Mandela says she told national broadcaster Sebk that the anti-apartheid icon was still with us, strong, courageous, even for a lack of a better word. On his deathbed he is teaching us lessons, lessons in patience, in love, lessons of tolerance, she added. Mr. Mandela, 95, is receiving home-based medical care. He was discharged from hospital in September after being treated for nearly three months for a recurring lung infection. There are times where I have to pinch myself that I come from this man who is a fighter. Mikazai Mandela Nelson Mandela's daughter, Mr. Mandela is widely respected for his role in fighting racism in South Africa, and for forgiving his former white captors after his release from prison in 1990. He spent 27 years in jail and was elected South Africa's first black president in 1994. He stepped down after five years in office. Every moment I get with him I'm amazed, Ms. Mandela told Sabk. There are times where I have to pinch myself that I come from this man who is a fighter even though you can see he is struggling but the fighting spirit is still there with him. Mr. Mandela's grandson, Ndaba Mandela, told Sabk that the ex-president was not doing well in bed. Last month, Mr. Mandela's ex-wife Winnie Matakaisola Mandela said he was no longer talking because of all the tubes that are in his mouth to clear, fluid from, the lungs. The South African presidency has repeatedly described Mr. Mandela's condition as critical but stable.